show you a technique that we have for creating um, advanced selection sets. Uh, we can create what I consider robust selection sets based on things such as our component size, select all instances of a particular component. We can select all the components in an assembly that are suppressed, that are visible, and then we can do something with it. Uh, for example, if I wanted to simplify this assembly so that it performs better, one of the most common things we might do would be to suppress all of the fasteners. So these advanced selection techniques live on our standard toolbar on this flyout under the select button. And here we have a bunch of different options available to us as to what we want to select. For example, if I want to select um, components by size, we're literally talking about components that are this threshold, 3% or smaller of the entire assembly. Notice as I drag this cursor to the right, other components start becoming part of my selection set. And if I drag this down to the left to 3%, I'm right in a sweet spot here where it has selected most of the fasteners that I'm interested in. Let's get that back. When I, and I even, even get feedback here to tell me that it's selected 158 fasteners. Now that's my current selection set. They're all selected in the graphics area. I can do a right click and hide them all. I could suppress them, etc. A couple other techniques worth mentioning. Uh, if you use toolbox fasteners, you can go in and say, just select all the components that have the toolbox flag. And it does this irrespective of where they live in your assembly, subassembly, sub subassembly -sub hierarchy. You don't have to go through those subassemblies to suppress all of your fasteners. You could pick them all at the same time and then simply suppress them all right now. Oh, one more thing. This is something that folks have been wanting for some time. It's been around for a while. They just improved it in 2020. We have the ability in SOLIDWORKS to create selection sets that we can get back to again and again. For example, if I want a selection set of this panel and the two knobs, because in some cases I'm going to make them all the same color or do something with it again and again and again, once I have those items selected, I can do a right click and notice in our shortcut menu, we have the option to save this selection. Uh, because I don't have any existing selection sets, the option is to create a new selection set. And what SOLIDWORKS does is add an informational folder at the top of the manager tree of the assembly manager tree called selection sets. And here my selection set one parentheses three has been preserved. I can even expand this guy out and it'll tell me that those particular faces have been selected. If I wanted to pick those as components, I probably should have had a component uh, selection filter on. That's my bad. This functionality of being able to save and add to existing selection sets is also evident in our um, part modeling environment as well. So if there are components, faces, edges, et cetera, that you need to access again and again and again, create a selection set, and then you can get back to it quickly and easily.